Look at this thing. This is it's so cute. This is so absolutely adorable. Look, look at that. That's so adorable. Oh my god, it's like Oh, look, the little cap comes off and everything. You can like detach the lens as well. It's, it's, it's absolutely adorable. It's a little model version of the uh, 5D Mark IV. I, I picked it up when I went to the photography show in Birmingham in September. Um, and I've had it since, but I've been meaning to kind of show it off on the channel, but it's, I've never, not really had the chance. But look at it, it's 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 adorable. It's like so so cute. But do you wanna do you wanna see something? Do you wanna see something really cool? Yeah? Do you wanna see something really cool? Yeah? So this this little thing here, yeah? Do you wanna see something cool? Watch this. <gasps> wow. Like, isn't that isn't that amazing? Look! Okay, alright, alright, right. This this isn't a 5D Mark IV, but it's a it's a it's a 5D Mark II. It's a 5D Mark II. And this, this is uh, what we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to, as usual, let that intro play and um, get to it. So what's up guys, this is Kai24 and I am back at your screens with another fantastic tech video. And uh, yeah, today we are going to be discussing this camera. This is the Canon EOS 5D Mark II. Now this is a very old camera, like, very old. Hang on, one second. One second. Let me find out how old it really is. So we have got uh, Canon 5D2 release date. So the Canon EOS 5D Mark II was originally released in 2009. 2009. Guys, that's 13 years. Okay, well, about 12 or 13 years ago. 12 or 13 years ago, this camera was released. I mean, I haven't had it for 12 or 13 years, but I think I mentioned in one of my old videos, previous videos, not old videos, one of my previous videos that I picked up one of these guys, one of these bad boys for ridiculously cheap. And yeah, I did. Um, This thing has a ridiculously high shot account. It's like almost 150,000, 140 something thousand shot account. But um, I have a very good reason behind getting it. So. What I've always kind of thought about is, you know, everybody's out there buying top of the range tech. Like I have a Canon EOS R6, which I'm filming on right now. And I've also got somewhere here, somewhere here. Is it here? It's in here. I've also got one of these. This is a Canon EOS R, which is my kind of, has been my go-to camera for a while now. But I've been thinking, what about those people who don't want to invest in something as fancy as the Canon EOS R6 or Canon EOS R, or they don't want to kind of go into that mirrorless realm of getting something like an M50 or a Sony ZV-E10 or a A6400. What about those people? What about those people who want to pick up a professional level camera for cheap and just practice with, or even make some decent quality YouTube videos with? What about those people? Well, you know, that's why used cameras exist and that's that's what i want to kind of do a review on this is a 5d mark ii it's 13 years old i picked it up for it, it was priced at about 150 pounds 150 pounds for a camera that's a full frame dslr camera full frame 24 something megapixel dslr camera i don't know if it's 24 megapixels hang on one second i'm gonna go back to the trusty phone um you know it's a hybrid camera it's 21 megapixels 21 megapixels. So it's got more megapixels if you're counting pixels than the EOS R6 does. Uh, 21 megapixel camera has the capability of filming in up to 1080 30, 1080 24, um, and it takes amazing photos. And it's a professional grade camera. And it was one of the most groundbreaking cameras because I think it's one of the first cameras to feature 1080 30 full HD recording as a hybrid camera system. So yeah, I picked it up for 150 pounds, which is an insane price. And it works perfectly well, you know, slapper, nice EF lens on top of it, and it works perfectly well. So my point here is, what about those people who want to pick up one of those used cameras and use it for their content creation, use it for their general everyday photography or practicing their, you know, photography. They don't need to use it for professional use. So, you know, how good are these cameras today? You know, it's going to be a very brief, brief 
video where I'm just gonna I'm gonna pop this in front. I'm gonna swap swap this in. I'm gonna swap this in essentially, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at the quality. I'm gonna see how this is, how how good it is. You know, I'm gonna slap that 24 millimeter f 1.4 sigma lens onto it, and then um, we're gonna see how it records. So yeah, I'm gonna see you in exactly three, two, one. And now I've switched to the 5D Mark II. And um, I cannot see myself because <laughs> one of the downsides of older cameras like this is it doesn't have a flip out screen. So I don't really know whether I'm 100% in focus or what it's looking like or what I'm looking like. So I'm just kind of going by this blind. I did have uh, one of my family members come in and just check whether I'm in focus or not. So I managed to get that done. So hopefully, hopefully it's, it's accurate and I'm in focus. But my point being, is that, um, you know, even with the older cameras, you've got something for simple videos like this, for talking head videos like this, you've got something that shoots in 1080, 24, 1080, 30, and that's as much as you need, right? It takes fantastic photos, that's as much as you need. So if you're looking for something that's cheap and you can record videos with and take photos with and practice your content creation with, without investing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of even into the thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars, or whatever currency you're spending in, on something like a mirrorless camera, like the R6 or the R, then, you know, you've got the option of buying these secondhand mirrorless cameras that are a couple of years old, and they will do the job. And it's not just the 5D Mark II. I mean, the reason I, I bought the 5D Mark II is because I saw it at a ridiculously good price, and it was 150 pounds. Yes, 150 pounds for a full frame mirrorless camera of this quality, it was, I was mind blown. So I just had to pick it up because, it, you know, you can't pass up an opportunity like that. Given the fact that this thing has a shutter speed of about, about 140,000 or something like that, it's ridiculous. The shutter speed is insane, but that's besides the point. I'm not gonna be using this for professional work, probably not. You know, I've got my R and the R6 to do that. I'm not gonna be using this to take a lot of high quality photos with, which I can do because it's got 21 point one megapixel camera it's still just as good so you know we've got all the features that you need from it, all the minimal features that you need from it for content creation you can use this to practice you can use this to improve your content creation skills until you get to a point where you're ready to invest in that next level up and invest in a mirrorless camera that can be a mirrorless APS-C camera like the m50 m50 mark ii even the m200 or the m6 mark ii or you know you can skip to full frame get yourself something like an eos rp or EOS R, R6, whatever it is, whatever your capabilities are, whatever your passion is. I'm just talking about Canon cameras, you can also go for the Sony cameras, you can pick yourself up a Sony A5000, A5100 if you can get hold of one, or an A6000, A6400, or the ZV-E10, or even the ZV-E1. You know, you can get hold of any of these kind of cameras and then carry on. But to begin with, you've got the option of picking up these nice DSLR cameras that come at ridiculously cheap prices, used, they do the job, they will probably serve the purpose of training you up to be able to use the DSLR camera properly, you know, learn to use it in manual mode, learn to use all the photography features or the video features, practice with it, get better at your content creation, and then switch over to, I mean, you've probably got the best content creation tool in your pocket, which is a phone. You've already got that. So, but if you wanna delve into the world of cameras, then picking up one of these used cameras is probably your, your better option. Or what I'm gonna do is obviously, I haven't seen this footage. I don't know how it's turned out. Like I said, the, the flip out screen is probably one of the best things to have been invented in camera, in the world of cameras. So um, I'm gonna take this back off, chuck my R6 back on. We're gonna have a look at the footage very quickly while I'm gonna have a look at the footage. Just kind of feedback on you what I think. And you guys will see for yourself exactly what it comes out like, you know. I've right now got it hooked up with the Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4 lens and I've got the mic up here. You know, the lighting is exactly the same. I kept the ISO at 800. Shutter speed is one over 50 because I'm filming at 1080-24. And I've got the aperture set as wide open as possible at 1.4. And these are pretty much the same settings that I used on my Canon R6, um, apart from I probably film in 4K on that rather than 1080, but you get what I mean, right? So I'm gonna switch this back and um, just have a look at that footage and kind of feedback to you what I think and whether I think that a camera like the 5D Mark II is still worth it in now 2022 as a content creation camera or is it worth grabbing or does it still do the job in 2022 for video as a content creation tool? So yeah, so let's switch that back. And I'm back. So this is back on the R6. 
thank god because now i can actually see myself on the side there with the flip out screen and um yeah i've had a look at the footage from this and um you guys have too now it's not bad is it it's 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 not bad at all honestly it's it's pretty damn good like 1080 24 13 year old camera that was pretty decent that that was beyond my expectations because i've never seen what the video from a camera like this looks like in person just for a lay person who's looking for a video uh, an information video an educational video talking head video explaining something you know whatever it is you're probably not going to find a huge amount of difference coming from using a camera like this it's really good um it's a heck of a lot chunkier and bigger than something like the r6 or the r or even it's like twice the size of something like the, the m50 mark ii or the m50 so yes it's a big big chunky beastly boy but does it do the job do i think this this still holds itself in the year 2022 13 years after its initial release you know when you compare it to things like the r6 and the r i mean in comparison to the r6 and the r it's still paled by comparison it's comparison way too many times there. but you know it's still not as insane level quality as these cameras can give you you know these have c-log and 8-bit and 10-bit recording and all of the fancy smanchy stuff that comes with it in 4k and 120 fps and all of that nonsense this goes up to a 1080 a nice 1080 30 at max but does it do the job absolutely is it still worth getting hold of if you're going to be practicing your content creation absolutely even in 2022 definitely if you can find something as cheap as this if you can find something like this to practice with before going and investing large sums of money on a professional level mirrorless camera or you know that that next level up then i definitely highly recommend doing that because you know pair this with a nice lens uh you know you can you can get cheap lenses to practice with i've got a 28 to 80 millimeter hang on one second let me go pick that up Yeah, so I've got something like this. This is a 28 to 80 millimeter lens. It is got an f-stop of 3.5 to 5.6. 28 to 80, 3.5 to 5.6. That's not too bad. It's a pretty good lens. I think this cost me about 35 pound. Pair these two together. I don't know what the quality is like. Gonna be like this video, but I'm pretty sure if you pair these two together, you've still got quite a good cotton creation tool. It's quite nice and cheap, and it's just perfect enough to practice with. So, you know, my main, one of my main reasons for getting this was so that my brother could practice. He's interested in helping me out with some of my professional grade work, but he's not really used cameras to the extent that I have. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get you a camera and you're going to practice with that camera. You're going to get better at everything. Then you can come along with me and help me out and I will pay you. So I bought him this, found this, bought him this. I'm going to give this to him. He's gonna practice with it, hopefully, and get better at his content creation, get better at his photography, get better at his videography, and then he's gonna come back and he's gonna be able to use my gear as well. And you know, once you've used, <laughs> I'm telling you, once you've used one of these old school big boys, um, using a mirrorless camera is pretty much a piece of take because the functionality on the mirrorless cameras with the touchscreen displays and everything that it's got, way easier than using one of these old school DSLRs. I'm, I, and once you learn how to use, uh, one of these cameras then once you switch to mirrorless it's going to be a really smooth transition because they're a lot easier to use in my personal opinion so yeah guys i'm going to leave it at that this video has been interesting because it's kind of opened my eyes as well to you know the possibilities of slightly older gear and i might be reviewing more older gear on this channel but for the time being i definitely think you know from what i've seen and used this and played around with it and from what you've seen of that footage that i just showed you it's definitely a camera that holds its own even now in the year 2022 as a content creation tool and if you're not if you are going to be using it as a content creation tool then it's definitely worth it yes it doesn't have a flip out screen but you can get really cheap kind of external monitors it can be any any sort of a monitor it doesn't have to be a high res 4k 1080 display monitor it can be any sort of kind of an external monitor that hooks up to this you're not going to be spending a huge amount of money for that because you can really get them for quite cheap on places like amazon or ebay no. if you're picking this up for cheap enough you're better off with that investment that way you can see yourself whilst you're doing your content creation and then there you go you've got a nice content creation tool paired up with a nice external mic there you go would i recommend it for things like vlogging i don't know but definitely for things like talking head videos or just any other type of b-roll shots and stuff like that i'm pretty sure this thing can do job 
So I'm gonna go around, play around with it a bit more, come back to you later on with kind of a final verdict of this camera and its capabilities being a 13 year old, pretty much almost 13 year old camera, an old school, what I would really consider a vintage right now. <laughs> in my opinion, it's not vintage, but you know, it, it, it's quite an old guy. Um, it's an old timer. For the time being, I definitely still think it's worth it. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Guys, interesting video. If you did enjoy that, make sure you hit that like button. And if you enjoy my content in general, make sure you subscribe because about 97% of you or more are not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe, it helps me out a lot. I really love the fact that you guys are watching, enjoying my content, and I want more of you to enjoy it. So hit that subscribe button, or not. Hit that notification bell if you do want to see my videos as they come out, when they come out. And um, that's it. This is Kai24 with my old school Canon M50 uh, Mark II. Oh, where's, where's, where's the little boy? Where's the little boy gone? <laughs> with these guys, look at the size difference. Oh my God, look at that size difference. That thing is tiny. You can just, it just sits on top of it. It just sits on top of it, look at that. It just sits on top of it like that. That's so cute. That's like, it's like father and son. It's literally like father and son. Um, the real life size Mark IV is just as big as this, but you know, this is, this is adorable. <laughs> This is adorable. Guys, this is Kai24. This is Kai24 signing out. I'll see you guys next time. It's so cute. It's so cute. This is, I cannot let my son get a hold of this. Absolutely cannot let my son get a hold of this. He will he'll eat it. He'll just this will just go down his throat. It's so small. It's it's it'll just he'll 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 annihilate it. He'll